Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Turam card to review. Uh, this is a later review because obviously we were doing the SBC packs for all of the earlier stuff. But since we do have this card now, I am going to be giving him an engine chemistry style because he is a physical type striker. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and give him that. And with this card in game, guys, he does have the five star weak foot. So He's six foot four, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a five star weak foot. Uh, skill moves is going to be helpful for like roquettas and stuff from time to time, which uh, can be very nice to work with that uh, five star weak foot for certain shooting opportunities. Uh, in game player traits, he has the finesse shot trait. Long shots is low, so it's mostly for inside the 18 yard box stuff because we have to give him the engine. I mean, the, the balance boost is definitely needed because he's a tall player, right? Six foot four, with I think a high and average body type, right? Let us take a look. So this card has a high and average body type. Right. So with the engine chemistry style, guys, we're going to be giving him a uh, perfect pace to work with. Base card stats for shooting will be in a good area for mostly inside the 18-yard box strikes, but we'll see what he's like on the outside uh, as well. Base card stats for passing also in a very good area to work with a 5-star weak foot and 91 for composure as a striker. So definitely very good stuff there. Dribbling will be in a very good area. I do expect it to be... Again, physical oriented, right? So a little bit slower because of the fact that he is a very tall player, but it could still be very good. It could still be very good. What's interesting about this card is that people are comparing, you know, Holland to him a lot because Holland is a physical type striker. But dude, that high, high work rate that Holland has with his body type kind of making him just feel like a bulldozer in game, it, it adds a little bit of a variable to the card, right? Uh, which is a nice one. Like Holland feels very authentic, to be fair. Uh, so. Yeah, the passing on this card, again, good area. Dribbling will be experimenting with. He can score a header if you go for it. He's a tall player, so it wouldn't be terrible to go for. And then he does have some very good physical capabilities too. So a couple of interesting variables to work with there when it comes to this uh, Turam card. But the way that we are going to be lined up in-game, guys, will be with the 3412. I have to set up the, um, the 352 on this account because I do not have that account... I don't have this account set up with like that, but um, yeah, the rest of the team, Di Maria, we could use Di Maria there. I don't mind that. Turam on the left side. Yes. Okay. Cool beans. Let's go try him out, guys. Hopefully he's a beast. Ooh, I try to get like the small little touch there to see if I can get like an outside the box finesse. Yeah, you always got to take that small little touch right there. Good stuff, good stuff. Cards like this pushing up against the defenders, it's it's really nice because they're really really huge dudes, you know? That movement you see the touch and then the, the, the touch afterwards, like the first time touch and then the touch afterwards was not bad at all there. The one thing I will say is that he doesn't feel as sluggish as I initially thought he would. Like, see, like I can take some quick touches and stuff with him. Oh, I try to switch it to the near post like last second. Unlucky. Oh, not bad. That was actually a nice finesse try. Nice lob pass. First time. Really close? Yeah. Once it's really close, you have to go for a chip or a, a shot cancel. Ooh, not bad. Very tall player for those. Oh my goodness, I did the shot cancel and he pushed it a little bit further away. Because of the fact that he's physical oriented. Yeah, 
tall player for those. Nice. Oh, first time would have been sick there if you actually scored that. Oh, I thought it hit me last. I was like, no, nee, bro, come on. Do the thing for me. And I hit the crossbar again. <laughs> His heading is pretty good, though. I'm just like, heading is weird in this game. You got to time it a certain way. Then you actually have to time the shot too, you know? Here's your physical. Oh, and I had it. His AI just, it just blocks him. Oh, that, that was weird. That whole situation, like if it's a more agile runner, I get the ball, but the through ball to him is uh, it's a strange one. He should have touched the ball, I think. Oh, help me on the defense, eh? Okay. Oh, he did like a driven shot there. That was a little strange. Oh, wow. So much sluggishness from the shot cancel, but we get the pen. We get the pen. Um, he is 83 penalties, so we'll go right side. Saves is standing there, okay. Ooh, okay, from a turnaround shot. Nice, good finish on the weak foot. It's tough. Let's go to them. Green time shot from a distance under pressure. We do not score it. One look, eh? Oh, no. Maybe if I greened it, I would have scored. Wow. What a save to Heia. Penalty again? Oh, nice. I timed the left stick there, and he had, like, some animations again. Listen, just, just so that, like, we don't get the loss, like, I'm just going to chip it down the middle. He should know I'm going to chip it. Okay. Just so that, you know? I had to cancel, because I, I thought the position would be different. Oh. I keep hitting the crossbar, man. Hmm. I thought he'd be able to use his body type there or something to kind of get ahead. Oh, it's a green, but it's like... um. So you see how I like I pushed the pushed the ball further out? So it wasn't gonna be good there. White time shot on that one. Okay, white time shot as well. Ah, why not try a first time strike from a really weird angle? There we go, first time. Stays on side there, good. Try the finesse shot there too. Oh no. I did the shot cancel for the uh, forced animation, but once I got to that angle, I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to score that. Hey, it still went in. It's coming off of that emphasis touch, but it still went in. Yeah, I 
wait for that trend. Once you see the ball in the air like that, that transition from the attacker into the defender is always going to win. I don't know what just happened right there. <laughs> Oi. Oh, no, Ben. What is this game? Ah. Oh, this game is just, I don't know. Does that count as my goal? Is that is that how that goes down from these deflect? Is it two deflections or one? one? One deflection. OK. It counts as mine. Wow. Interesting. Because I guess it was on target, right? So. Oh, I had it there too. I think his AI is the one that's stuck in a foot there. I think. No finesse there. No. Wow, also the goalkeeper I still scored. Nice. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Tudom SBC. So, uh, guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, you do have to give him the engine chemistry style because it's going to be very important uh, to boost his dribbling stats in the agility and balance department while giving him that extra pace, giving him that extra passing, all of that good stuff. Uh, this card, as one of the physical type strikers, for people that like to use these types of cards, he's one of the better ones. I don't think he's awful by any means. Uh, definitely off offers a few things here and there. So the thing about this card is that, you know, when it comes to actually scoring headers, he's pretty good at it because he's a very tall player. 88 jumping, considering how tall he is, is actually solid because what you can do with a card like this, you know, not really looking at the dribbling stats and whatnot, for people who like to use these types of cards, it could be super ideal to give him the Hawk chemistry style to be able to win those aerial engagements constantly while still working with some pretty decent dribbling stats. Now, again, these types of cards do stray away from the meta of the game in general, which is why a lot of people might not actually complete this SPC. But for a physical type striker, he's one of the better ones, right? I don't think he's that bad. Um, the five star weak foot's definitely a plus to work with. But regardless, you're going to have to work high percentage strikes in this game for you to score your opportunities anyways. Um, the engine chemistry style helps with the dribbling a little bit but at the end of the day he's still six foot four with a high and average body type so you don't want to play too much with the ball like we only do it for the sake of the review right uh his high medium work rates is actually pretty nice i didn't mind it whatsoever his movement was actually pretty solid uh the way that he was moving with mbappe in the team but mbappe definitely compensates for a lot of people um was really nice i, I was perfectly fine with it with him playing in that striker area the finesse shots outside the 18 for those specific touches that are a little bit more sharp, they actually came off better than I thought it would. I thought it would be a little bit more generic outside the 18, but it was actually pretty decent. The problem with this card is that because of how tall he is, when he's dribbling, he's adding this emphasis on the ball. Sometimes if it's like a push touch or it's like, you know, he, he's coming off of the dribble a certain way from a certain animation, that's where it's going to be less consistent, right? But um, as an SBC, for people who are, you know, building some French squad, building a Bundesliga team, they like to use physical type strikers. Uh, he's one of the better ones. Is it an SBC that I see a lot of people completing in general? Probably not, to be honest with you. But obviously, if you're decent enough at the game, the card's still going to be solid to work with for what it is, right? So um, in this league, honestly, for me, I don't know, man. I still like using Holland. I think Holland's really, really nice. How much is Holland? Attackers and then the Bundesliga. 172k as a market player. Like, even though he doesn't, he's not four-star skills, like five-star weak foot, like, this guy is just so unique. The way his high-high works, the way that his body type works, the running animation, it's all, like, really crazy stuff. This SPC exists for people that really like to use, like, the Bundesliga teams that want to add a striker like him in the squad. It's one of those types of guys, in my opinion. Even the season Lewandowski, 141k. That's where it gets weird, right? 141k, the SPC itself is, like, what, 180? 189 yeah 
So again, it's not an SPC that I see a lot of you completing. Nothing special about him, but still pretty decent to use in the game. He's not horrible by any means. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.